Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Catch it, there's a hell of a lot of it. <laughs> How many cats did you have in total? I had uh, 25 cats, then I got down to 15, and I got sick. Okay. I oh, had surgery on my leg. Oh. I have a diabetic also that was on my leg for right. eight years. They did five surgeries on it. I worked for 7 Eleven up here, and then I had a heart attack in the store. Mm. And from everything happening, the house got let go. What do you think so far? More than I thought. Yeah, it's a lot. But uh, I know that around 1 o'clock, Laura, our boss, is going to be bringing out a bunch of franchisee trainees. Okay. And they're going to be helping out, learning how to do that. I was worried that there wasn't going to be enough for them to do, but there is. Oh, yeah. All right, batteries go. Okay. Uh -oh. All this crap, the litter boxes go. Okay. That TV goes. Okay. It's broke. See, this is what happened with the bed. But I can take bleach solution, set it on it, and it'll come right out. It's just top surface, not below. All right, so because of how much we're going to have to toss, and because there's a little bit extra that she wants tossed along with just the garbage and everything, and the cat feces and everything on the floor, um, she wants the cat towers and all the litter boxes taken out, so we recommended a dump trailer. And it was approved for us to bring the dump trailer, got the paper signed, and that's basically a change order anytime we have to do more than what we originally said we were going to do, or originally were told to do. So we're going to get the dumpster out here probably in about a little less than an hour to an hour. And we're going to get some more work done because we've got more people coming to help. Hey. So happy about that. Hey guys, I am here to uh, help Shelby out on this uh, cat hoarder job and I brought some trainees with me that are here for franchise training. We have a couple people from Indianapolis and we have one person from the Orlando area. So I'm really curious to see how they handle the ammonia and the filth in uh, this type of property. So let's see how they do. Over here is going to be a little bit more difficult to pull up my queen because the pieces are already... This is what I like to call move-in ready. Yeah. <laughs> Move in ready. Right here, we got it. This is beautiful. I feel like someone just hired us and said, hey, clean the bathroom as I'm taking a shit at it. I feel like somebody's telling me to eat, but don't use my hands. How the fuck am I supposed to do it? How are you liking it so far? <laughs> Interesting first experience. <laughs> How you liking it so far, man? Smells like shit. Uh, but. <laughs> uh, my name's Christian. Uh, new franchisee. Job's going all right. Hot as hot. <laughs> uh, just finishing up this back room. About to start wiping down the dressers and whatnot. Um, but yeah. 
I'm Jason Massey. I just I'm from the Indianapolis area. I just coming down here for training and just learning purposes. But we're uh, currently here at a uh, what I believe is a hoarder house situation. It just definitely a very pungent smell of uh, cat urine, cat feces. Just a little mixture of is like years caked on from what I'm seeing. I just the overall situation is pretty severe. It just a lot of cats currently lived in this house and it's just definitely one of the worst ones I've seen so far and in, in my experience. Hi, hi, I'm Melanie. I'm from Indianapolis and this is her first job and it is a doozy. What do you think? It's a duty. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the most unique thing about this job is normally we would be doing straight demo we're actually asked to clean something that literally cannot be cleaned. Mm -hmm. So we're essentially just cleaning a top layer of piss and shit. Quite literally. Because the bottom layer is already soaked into the subfloor, which is composite MDF wood. Literally parts of it are wavy. Because <laughs> the yeah, pee has just right. completely soaked in. And it's and like it's, buckling. Yeah, yeah, it's not repairable really. From so how would you describe the smell? Exactly what you would think cat uh, like a litter box that's gone too far except for it's the whole house <laughs> yeah it's definitely compounded like the ammonia will mm -hmm. will your eyes will water mm -hmm. on the ammonia thank god thank for the gods for respirators yes. so i just got to say thank thank god yeah. for respirator but this is like this is a frustrating job just because we're not allowed to do demo. a comprehensive cleanup which would include a lot of demo um there is a mattress just absolutely saturated with cat piss and we're told to leave it there because it's comfortable uh so it's like oh my god this is just, and you know it's been a long time since i've like dry heaved but when i watched her like just scoop up the liquid diarrhea i was like mm -hmm. oh it was like my I don't know. I mean, I'm smelling it right now, and I'm just yeah. thinking about being hands and knees in it like I was a few minutes ago. And, but um, thank God, yeah, thank God for this. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I was too dirty to stay in one, so. Oh, it's just. It's terrible. It's an experience, for sure. This is, you know, like, it'll look better when we're done. But it's not. But it's not even close to what our normal capabilities are. Mm -hmm. Because we're not being allowed to do it. So lipstick on a pig was literally that phrase was literally meant for this mm -hmm. but the only thing that could save this place is a match yeah or a bulldozer bulldozer but even then just the waft that's coming out of the house which is over there is making me like i'm about to throw it myself mm -hmm. yeah this is intense mm -hmm.
Oh my god. <laughs> I was able to get all the garbage thrown away into the dumpster, including the cat towers, which thankfully, because now this area is nice and clean again, kind of. But just trying to see what else I can get done today, and then we'll go from there. Hey guys, so we're at the end of this difficult, difficult job and we did not get the normal ending that I enjoy uh, here because we weren't really allowed to. So this is what the client wanted, so this is what we delivered. Uh, unfortunately, again, it uh, is making my OCD go crazy because it wasn't as clean as I like. Uh, the proper remedy for this house would be to light a match, but that wasn't an option. So this is what we got. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.